Today I'm gonna give a sort of daily routine that I'm trying to keep going within the lockdown period. Obviously I'm starting to get into exam times now. I had one two days ago, I have one today actually, so that'll be interesting to see. And I have one in a week. So obviously things are, I have more on and I have more important things to be focusing on. But I'm trying to also keep some form of routine because I think especially in these current times keeping a routine is very important because it's fine and well just getting up at, you know, three in the afternoon because you don't have to get up any earlier but for me I just think it's important and healthy to keep some form of routine it doesn't have to be a really strict one it doesn't have to be up at six in the morning bed at nine o'clock at night I just mean a general routine that involves getting up at a decent time doing things not just sitting around all the time and it might be helpful to show others how I go about keeping some form of daily routine during the lockdown period and so to start off the day as I always start off the day I have a cup of coffee so that is what I'm sat here doing just now. Then I have some plans for today. I hope you guys enjoy seeing how I keep a routine within this lockdown period and hopefully I can maybe help with you. try to alternate between days what mornings I go on runs it's not always mornings usually mornings for me um and yesterday I went on a run I've been sticking to around about 5k at the moment I just think it's a good way to start the day for me anyway I just think it's a good way it gets me energized gets me ready gets my brain started for the day to start revising so because I went on a run yesterday, I'm not gonna go on a run today, but I do need to go for a walk this morning because I actually need to go to the post office to post something, so it gives me a reason to go on a walk. Get out of breath, because I am a, this is me standing up straight and this is me for the camera. I just think it's important to get out and get some fresh air, whether that be in your back garden or out in a walk, but you need to keep yourself refreshed and have a change of scene. So yeah, I need to check when the post office opens. I think it's open now, but I'm just gonna check that and then we'll see, so yeah. So I have just checked and it appears to be open. It says open closes at 10 p.m. I'm slightly worried because it says 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. I don't know if you guys can see that, which seems like a very long time for a post office to be open. Either way, I'll go and check. If it's not open, I'll just do it on my, it's actually on the route of my run anyway, so I'll just do it tomorrow morning. Just to get out of the house, I think a walk is a very good idea and a good way to start the day before all the stress of revising. So yeah, let's go. Um, I have an exam today. So the way that the university are doing it, or for me anyway, is you have 24 hour period in which you can do the exam. So the start of that 24 hour period for me is today at two o'clock, uh, 2 p.m. And I have three hours to do the exam and I can choose when I wanna do it within a 24 hour period. But for me personally, I would rather just get it done and out of the way. So I'm planning on doing it at two, but I have a paper for it that I've not read yet. Uh, don't do as I do, do as I say. 
and do it in advance but I just I ran out of time having two exams in a few days it kind of just I, I totally did not I just didn't calculate my delegations of what to do well enough and so I'm a little bit behind but I should be okay because I have typed up all my notes it's just a case of reading this paper annotating it and yeah so that's why I got up nice and early this morning so that I could get on with that and then just kind of have a couple hours before my exam later to just chill a little bit more I find personally top tip for me I suppose I find that working really hard the few hours or the morning before an exam just really stresses me out and it just puts too much pressure on me so top tip for me is maybe just take sort of like at least an hour before your exam to just chill out and make a coffee or a tea maybe watch your favorite series I don't know just do something to chill for the hour before so that you're not already pre-stressed before you even start the exam because that's silly yeah, I'm gonna start reading that paper now because that needs done and yeah we'll see how much of that we record because I feel like that could be extremely boring so I might not put you through that So I just find myself getting distracted by this thing here, so top piece of advice that I can give is honestly just like, get it out of the way. <laughs> That was actually kind of a nice paper. It wasn't too long and also it was easy to follow. Sometimes I find that some of these like papers, like psychology papers can be quite, the wording is just like, bleh, you know, it's not nicely structured. Whereas this one was actually really nice. So I'm happy about that. And I like the topic that it's on. So I'm happy. It's now currently, I have this gigantic clock just out my window, but it's an hour behind and it always takes me a minute to figure out what time it actually is. Or I could just check my laptop. So it is 20 to 12, which is pretty lovely. Good timing. I'm quite impressed. I didn't think I'd be finished with preparing for this exam that early, to be honest. For now, I think I'm just gonna sort of chill, maybe edit some of this, because that might be quite a good timing to do that. Certainly get something to eat. Yeah, just kind of chill out for a little bit. So we'll see what I do within that chill out time. <laughs> laptop at ready it's 10 minutes until 2 I'm planning on just doing this at 2 when it comes out so yeah I will see you guys on the other side and I'll let you know how it goes <laughs> That was, that was um, an intense exam, <laughs> but it's done. Not the easiest exam I've ever done, let's just say that. But it was fine and it's done now. That's all that really matters. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Probably just chill. I'm hungry now, very hungry. So yeah, I'll probably eat something soon, but I'm again just doing a little bit of editing of this said video. And then, yeah, I think I'll just chill for the rest of the day because I am utterly pooped. Like, oh my God, I'm dead. <laughs> Two out of three exams done. I'm just absolutely knackered. I don't even know what to say. That exam honestly completely and utterly took it out of me. I am dead now. So I can't really be bothered cooking much right now. So I'm just gonna make myself some pesto pasta because simple and tasty. So if you're interested, I guess I'll show you the process. <laughs> past 10. Absolutely knackered because of the time that I got up at this morning. So I am probably just gonna head to bed now. But yeah, as you saw, most evenings consist of me eating my dinner and then watching some Game of Thrones with Aoife. We've almost finished it on season eight. It's getting very serious. It's quite stressful and emotional and quite exciting. <sighs> 
yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> um, I was gonna try and make some little questions because tomorrow me and my uni friends aren't here. Um, we're having like a pub quiz, like a Zoom call pub quiz, so that'd be quite fun. But I'll maybe try and do some just before I go to sleep just now, but I, I don't know, we'll see. I'm pretty tired, so obviously it varies slightly every day. Some mornings I go on runs, some evenings I've been like sitting out in the garden. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my lockdown routine that I've got going on and maybe it will help you guys create a routine or get you into the swing of things, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you're all keeping well in the current situation. And yeah, thanks again. Bye. Well, good night. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you.